and that's because you're one of tens of thousands of people who applied and when the call came through you happened to be in the pub and ignored it. No, no, so. I, wasn't, I wasn't in the pub. I wasn't, but just to clarify, I was. You uh, were having a pint. I was catching up with my brother-in-law <laughs> on a Friday evening. We were having having a chat, and I'd uh, I'd been doing a lot of admin at home, and I'd tidied stuff away. And I think my phone went off in my pocket, and I was mid-flow, mid-conversation with my brother-in-law. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I thought, I'll probably be, my wife's probably phoning me, so where have you, where have you put this? Uh, I was like, oh, I'll, so I'll, I'll ignore it. it. So I finished what I was saying, I don't know why, I finished what I was saying and I pulled my phone out and it was a, a number from, from France. I was like, well, oh, that's this could be it. Could probably the director general from the European Space Agency. Mm -hmm. So thankfully he, he, he called back a couple of minutes later. It's fantastic. What did your dad say to you which motivated and inspired you? Because that was a, another lifting moment, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, my, my parents know that I'm quite an adventurous chap and um, I, I like life. And one of the biggest concerns was that I wouldn't be able to do things in life that I had always wanted to do. And I remember the first Christmas after I had my accident, my parents gave me this atlas, um, this giant um, A3 atlas. Mm -hmm. And I opened it up and inscribed inside the, the front cover, my dad had written, always go the extra mile, life will reward you. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, for me, that couldn't be more, more true. Mm. That's your mantra, isn't well, it? Yeah. Uh, you, you rightly say there are many stages to go through. There's all sorts of training to do and barriers to get through. But, but all, all being well, when do you think you might...